Hello everyone, Carolyn here with Road and Country. Um, today I wanted to um, demonstrate a um, how to tube feed a guinea pig. Um, this may not be for everybody, but anyone who has been interested in knowing how to do this. Um, first off, what I'm going to be using, this is an adult guinea pig I'm going to be doing uh, this on. So what I'm using here um, is a feeding tube. I'll, it could be I'll sold as a catheter as well. It's a size 8, uh, FR8 is what I'm going to be using. Um, I've already got my syringe. Uh, right now I'm just giving fluids, uh, otherwise um, I give critical care and other whatever else I may need. So I've got my um, electrolytes. I'm actually using coconut water um, with vitamin C uh, here. And then you're going to need some type of gag. So what I'm using is just a 3cc. Um, uh, syringe casing uh, and this is going to keep the mouth uh, from biting down because you uh, don't want the guinea pig to bite down on the catheter otherwise it's uh, they're going to put holes in it or you risk them actually snapping it in half and then you're stuck with a feeding tube inside the guinea pig. Um, so this guy here I'm not really sure what's wrong with him. Um, he had stopped evidently stopped eating um, so it started off with status um, however, he's uh, got no, it uh, doesn't appear that he has any sensation to his rear end. Um, so, and he does have um, some neurological issues. So I suspect he may have had a stroke. Um, so at this point, uh, I've been just tube feeding him and, uh, you know, in order to keep his um, digestive tract moving. Um, is something that I'd like to say too is that on the uh, critical care when I uh, feed him with that um, I will get fresh poop from uh, a healthy guinea pig and kind of mush it in with the critical care you got to make sure it's really well mushed in in there otherwise it won't fit through the catheter um, and then just make the critical care just a little tiny bit soupier than probably what you normally would make per recommendation um, so anyway, so, so this is what I've been doing with him. Um, so obviously with him being that he's, he's real lethargic, it's going to be um, probably a little easier uh, than it will for a guinea pig that is a little more alert um, and, um, you know, and, and, trying, and trying to fight you. So uh, anyway, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, is, is you're gonna put the gag in. When I start to put the feeding tube in, um, I'll explain as I go, but if you look at the guinea pig, um, if you count the, if, all the way to the bottom of the rib cage, I don't know if you can see that right here, you go to the bottom of the rib cage and you're going to take your catheter and what you want to see is roughly measure the distance from the bottom of the rib cage to the mouth, okay? Because if you base it here on about halfway um, is where your lungs are going to be. So when you start inserting the tube, if you get any kind of um, uh, restriction, you know, it's not as easy to put it in, um, or it doesn't go past a certain point, then you're probably in the airway and you need to pull it out and try again. Um, when you get into um, the, uh, or, um, his, uh, the stomach tube area, then you're going to be able to slide the tube in very easily. Um, and it should go all the way to the distance that you pretty much measured from there. Now the stomach lies uh, on the left side of the pig, just somewhere below the, um, the rib cage, okay? So what I'm gonna do next, and I'm gonna try to do this in a way where you guys can still see what I'm doing, um, is I'm gonna put the gag in. I know, buddy, I know, and then what you're going to do is just basically use your finger. Now I've had to do this for a bit, so I'm getting a little bit better at it. But more or less, you're going to you're going to stick the tube in, and and they're going to fight you. But what you want to do is just have a good hold of the head. I know, bud. And it, it's going to take a little bit of time, so take your you know have some patience with it. And having the gag in kind of helps get that mouth open just a little bit. And what I'm doing right now is I have to keep pulling in and out of there just because 
um, how they're hitting his molars. I know, but I know. And this can take some time. Sometimes I get it right in there. Other times it takes me forever. Okay, so it's going in right now, but hang on. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. I know my hand's probably in the way. Okay, so. I don't know. Okay, so I have my mark. My mark is right here. I've already kind of figured out where the mark is. And it's for the most part, it's gone in pretty easily. He, he is biting down a little bit, so sometimes I get a little bit of restriction just because I can feel his molar hidden it. Um, so at this point, he's you want to keep the mouth, mouth gag in. Um, and what I do is more or less you're going to hold. Uh-uh, oh, buddy. You're going to hold the gag in place and hold the tube at the same time. And then what you're gonna do is take your syringe. Make sure it's in there good. And when you're doing this the first few times, you wanna make sure you go extremely slow uh, because if you do have it in the wrong spot, you're gonna obviously drown the pig. So what you're gonna do is just put a little bit in there. Um, he's gonna, they're gonna fight a little bit because obviously it feels weird but what you're looking for is no coughing, no sneezing, um, nothing coming up. And everything looks good so far. So then once, once you're pretty confident that you've got it in there, then just slowly depress the syringe. I know, bud. You're doing good. There we go. Okay. And then go ahead and just slide the, the piece out when you're done. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you clean the catheter off or feeding tube off well um, after each use. If you're using critical care, make sure that you flush a lot of water through it. Otherwise, it's going to dry up in there and it will not be functional. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, and uh, so yeah, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.